What's up you guys? So since Binance has kind of been forced to stop stock tokens, I have a good theory and I think some interesting points behind it. What if actual tokens moving forward were backed by NFTs, stable coins, and very specific artists that have held their value over many, many decades in time? What if stock tokens that were merged with cryptocurrency had a sort of hedge or a built-in value the way USDT is used now for different cryptocurrencies. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the bell, help me out with the algorithm, hit the like button, share the video, comment down below, let me know what you think. I know I'll leave you better than when you came here, so kindly do that. It's free to do and it helps us out tremendously with the channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks you guys. I appreciate you very, very much and I'm going to get into it. So Binance stops stock token sales effective immediately and I'm going to get into what I'm talking about in terms of a hybrid that actually supports and holds the value based on merging all those different mechanisms that nobody's done just yet and I think BitTorrent is going to be and Tron TRX someone that figures that out and puts something pretty unique together with stable coins, NFTs and tokens that do merge with the stock market that create value and create a built-in insurance to hold that value. So, Binance stops talk, uh, stock tokens, I guess that was the uh, Tesla token, right? Was the first one. Binance's highly popular stock tokens, a relatively recent offering, are being wound down immediately. Of course they are. The regulators are all over them. They can't even breathe lately without a regulator from somewhere telling them that they've done something that they should have not done. So, effective immediately, stock tokens are unavailable for purchase on Binance.com as of October 14th, 2021 at 7.55 p.m. UTC. The exchange will no longer support stock tokens at all. Interesting. Existing stock token holders will have some time to adjust, and I guess this really kind of merges the um, that gray line between you know stocks, how they're promoted, and how cryptocurrencies are promoted because they're not considered stocks, and how the SEC can get involved and really cause uh, a major toss salad with Binance and other exchanges infrastructures too. And I think. From the beginning, and part of my theory, there's a lot of, if you watch some of my older videos, close connections, subtleties that make me think that Tron, TRX, Justin Sun are more closely involved with Binance than one might actually think um, because of the, the relationship with the Binance owner. Anyway, uh, while unconfirmed as of the time of writing, Walter Bloomberg has claimed in a tweet that... Hong Kong's SFC says no entity in the Binance Group is licensed or registered to conduct regulated activity in Hong Kong. If true, the development would confirm that mounting regulatory pressure on the world's largest cryptocurrency platform is continuing to hit its operations hard. Absolutely. In late April, there had already been reports that European and British regulators were scrutinizing Binance's offering of stock tokens, which represents fractions of equity shares in firms such as Tesla and Coinbase, for possible non-compliance with securities laws. While initially not commenting on Binance in particular, Germany's Federal Financial Supervisory Authority, Baffin, that's a mouthful, went on record at the time stating that fundamentally the following so again we're getting into the distinguishing between distinguishing between stocks the stock market stock tokens and the heat that comes along with regulators putting you under the microscope uh, because of that gray area fundamentally the following applies if tokens are transferable can be traded at a crypto exchange and are equipped with economic entitlements like dividends or cash settlements they represent securities and are subject to the obligation to publish a prospectus that's pretty clear Baffin soon mentioned Binance explicitly noting its absence of published prospectuses for the stock tokens like I was saying 
So related, Binance and FTX list Coinbase stock, uh, stock tokens ahead of exchanges, NASDAQ debuts. Spring and summer of 2021 have been difficult for Binance on the regulatory front, with multiple countries taking action against it or reportedly investigating its operations from various compliance perspectives. You know, one thing about Binance, and again, it's just my opinion, and um, I think that as their coin you know, has gotten hammered, it's good to buy some now and perhaps average down it to get it hammered more because... I really think they'll remain one of the leaders uh, in the industry as a platform doing what they do. They've had a very, very deep, good infrastructure, and they've worked well and securely for the most part for quite a long time now. I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. This is just a little hiccup along the way because of the way things are changing in the industry. So spring and summer of 2021 have been difficult for Binance on the regulatory front with multiple countries taking action against it or reportedly investigating its operations from various compliance perspectives. In the United Kingdom, the Financial Conduct Authority ordered the exchange to halt all regulated activity in the country in June. That same month, Japan's Financial Services Agency accused Binance of operating in the country without proper registration and new measures against crypto exchanges in the Canadian province of Ontario prompted the exchange to cease all operations there. Poloniex also had the same happen, I think, before them, which is also, as you know, a Justin Sun entity. He's involved with that. So that's the end of that article. It's Cointelegraph. And I want to... I'm going to try and map out here what I'm trying to get across when I say that. So it's a combination of things. And again, this is off the cuff like most of my videos are. So I'll try to be as concise as possible. It's not um, at all rehearsed. So this is on the fly. Now, if the tokens that Binance was offering, in this case, the Tesla or and Coinbase tokens, um, follow that gray line and cross that gray line because they become uh, considered basically a security. And because they're considered more of a security than a cryptocurrency, then the SEC is able to cause more grief and impose more um, regulatory conditions that must be met that it seems allegedly none of them or most of them are not being met by Binance and others, and this is probably what caused them to cease um, offering the tokens so that they do not have headaches because these are uncharted waters. So just because they're uncharted waters, it doesn't mean nobody's going to offer stock tokens again. It means that they may have just jumped the gun a little bit, did not expect to be getting close to the regulatory heat that they may end up getting due to offering this, and they need to go back in the laboratory and figure out a smarter way to do this within the law where they potentially could offer up a new product that offers a similar service like a stock token, but maybe somebody like Justin Sun is going to use the platform of BitTorrent and Tron Network in a very unique way and create instead of a talk stock talk stock token, some kind of hybrid which has kind of like a mutual fund in the financial industry where there are multiple investments involved in one, well, maybe they could get away with having this be a whole new asset class in its own right that does not have the same regulatory expectations is still regulated in some way. There has to be some, even if something is decentralized, there has to be a code of ethics or something that keeps it um under control or legit if a formula or math is not enough to keep out the bad actors. But that's a, another subject and maybe another video. So what am I getting at? I think there is a way to combine the value of an NFT. I'll use Picasso as an example that has been, you know, the physical artwork has been worth a lot for years. I think that if there's some um, limited or something unique put into that NFT where it can maintain its value, and that is somehow merged with a Tesla-type coin. I'll use Tesla just as an example for argument's sake, like what Binance was trying to do with them. Along with being combined with some type of stable coin, along with being combined with maybe some type of decentralized finance project, and it was all a, a, a vehicle that did fluctuate in value, but did, however, have all of these unique ingredients put together in a way that has not really ever been done before, I think that Tron and BitTorrent will be the first to think of this and produce um, something like this out in the industry. And I wanted to actually talk about 
a new stable coin that Tron is uh, putting out there so um, and supporting Circle now supports USDC stablecoin on Tron. So Tron, which is currently the leading blockchain for Tether's USDT, lots of action going on there, as you all know, and you should know if you don't, um, is USDC's fifth network. So, and this is an article from Coindesk. You can go check it out because I'm going to wrap up the video here. But Circle said, this is a July 1st, um, the USDC stablecoin has been added to Justin Sun's Tron network, making USDC available on Tron will expand the stablecoin's availability to millions of users across Asia, Circle said in a statement. Check out the article. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I think it's a unique perspective and I think it's a theory that's going to come to fruition in one way or another in the near future. Hope this finds you healthy, happy as usual, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.